fourth amateur bout this evening as Andy Mooney from over in Dublin Ireland travels over to make his third his third amateur fight up against Jay Adams the debuting man out of Anarchy Martial Arts Jay Adams in the blue corner watching a fast start here from, from Mooney I know Chris was, was shouting in the corner for him to come out aggressive and, and start fast throwing that leg kick straight away trying to put the pressure on on the back foot Mooney looking cool and calm here, as we've seen earlier with one of the KF guys. Yeah, Mooney very, very big for this uh, weight. Uh, you can see, oh, very nice uppercut there. Very nice uh, mixing it up inside there. He's getting caught with that jab, though, so yeah. he's, he's getting that stiff jab through the middle every single time. He needs to use that head movement a little bit, a little bit more. Yeah, this is Mooney's first fight in two years. He's a... Uh, Last scrap was in Ireland, a real, known as a real scrapper over over uh, across seas. And one and one so far in his amateur career, looking to uh, put it into a winning wave tonight. Mooney looking for that right uppercut quite a lot, so you see he's working it again, as I said it there, going straight for that oh. uppercut down the middle. Both men landing hard then, nice counter shot by Jay Adams, very nice one too there. Jay Adams making his man aware, making his man witness the power that he possesses in that combination. Yeah, trying to work that leg kick again is Mooney, but Adams there just on the back foot, just, just working nicely off that jab currently. Very nice left hand there from Jay Adams, starting to land that left hand at will now. Yeah, he's looping it a bit as he comes in with it. It's nice, it's, it's sort of hidden as he steps in with that hook. Yeah, Team KF is kind of known for the, uh, for the low hand, but it doesn't really seem to be paying all dividends here tonight is right hand again straight down the pipe from Jay Adams looking very very good in his amateur debut there yeah Mo Mooney's head movement here needs to be slightly better he's getting caught a lot from the, both the front and the back hand here yeah big mouse now developing into the eye of Andy Mooney and a cut around the bridge of the nose yeah, lovely stiff jabs again oh. he gets caught again with that Mooney he's got that mouse on the eye he's got the broken nose potentially there as well he's standing very square on against the cage here instead of cutting his cage down he's kind of standing there allowing himself to be left open for shots yeah he's got a good movement though from from Mooney moving forward but he's getting caught without the head movement that's the problem so as he moves his legs he's he's great but then just the head the head stays in the middle constantly getting caught again oh. there both men having some success on the feet but Adams seeming to uh, get getting the better of it overall yeah Jay Adams is working off that back foot constantly but he's, he's he, the, the counter striking is absolutely superb so far and he's now starting to work off the back foot with you know forward striking as well <laughs> Big shoot takedown. at the end of the round here from Andy Mooney. Our first one to go outside the first round so far. Yeah, I think that was a really good round for Jay Adams, me. Yeah, a lot of damage there inflicted on the face of Andy Mooney. So that nose is definitely broke. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, 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 it was a shot early on that, but he looks, it looks like he's definitely bust the nose through the middle there as well, so that could cause some, some issues in this fight now. Yeah. Watching the replay again. Adams just working off that jab constantly. He, you know, even when he's backing up, he's using that jab. He's working his way out of out of any position. The the the, the way Moon is fighting, just moving forward looks great. But it's just the the overall head movement has just not been there, and that's why he's been caught and tagged a lot in that round. And I think the overall tagging came from from one guy, and Jay Adams took that round for me. Definitely, yeah, he seemed to just be, he said he chased his man down, I said it before, it looks like he's just kind of standing such square on in front of him, in front of uh, Jay Adams, allowing yes. himself to get tagged. And a big round here again to uh, to follow up for Andy Mooney, who needs a big response as we go into the second round of the evening for the first time tonight. Referee happy with, uh, with 
the cut being dealt with, and here we go for round two. Well, the, the end of that round um, is interesting because Jay Adams went for that takedown. So is he going to start the round slightly different and, and want that level change as he is doing at the minute and go for that takedown and try and control the fight a little bit more? Oh, with a low shot there. Fighting to the cup there with that left inside leg kick, just grazed him. He's going to get time to recover if he, if he uh, so needs it. Just an extra breather here. Yes, I mean, it sometimes does not pay dividends to the guy that's, you know, winning the fight at this point to, to have that extra breather. Um, so Jay wants, uh, he wants to continue here, and Mooney looks like he's going to push forward straight away. He's got Chris keeping yeah. him calm in the corner here. Yeah, I think giving, uh, in, giving Adams that kind of a space on that first round is, didn't, didn't really work out so well. So if anything, the team care for known for it's coming back in fights and adapting on the fly. Well, I think we'll, I think we'll see the level change and I think we'll see the, the takedown earlier in this round. Yeah, Fields asking for a lot more feints now in this round. He's kind of standing in front of him a little he's still, bit. He's doing the same, stiff, yeah, yeah. He's doing the same thing here, Harry, and that, that, that's going to be a problem, that, because, oh. uh, you know, you continue to do the same thing and you get the same results. And there we go. So he's now going for that take. He's, he's, you know, he's closed that distance quite quickly. A lot more pressure there. But straight out and straight, nice reversal there. Big rotation from Jay Adams there. He went for a high take though there, so he went in like with a bit of a sloppy double leg, stepped up straight away and went into the, the sort of higher takedown. Oh, nice head a kick there. A lot of confidence raining out now, for, oozing out now from Jay Adams. Really letting his combinations go now, so that's throw a few more kicks. Big shoot from Andy Mooney. Much needed at this point in the fight. Yeah, I mean, this, this is what, what I'd have expected the start of the round. He's got to watch that neck, he's got to watch that neck, but a good oh, shot on the way out as well there. Very good awareness there for an Owen Ho amateur like Jay Adams here. He's really impressing. Jay, I mean, Jay Adams is just... The way he's moving at the minute, even on that back foot, he's constantly throwing that jab out. He's constantly using his, uh, his aggression, but on the back foot, I like the way he's working here. Yeah, he's looking very comfortable on the back foot. Mooney having to work really hard here to get his man down to the ground. Yeah, he's used use that chin strap there to, to lift the neck. He can rotate out there as well. Like, you know, there's a little gap on that right-hand side there. He can start step his way out. Uh, he's got the leg, though, now. Got that single leg. High pick. The dump truck. And Very again. Right hand again. He's leaving his hands down every single time he's coming out of that. You know, the first way you've got to judge his fight is on effective striking. And effective striking has come from one way this fight so far, and it's Jay Adams. Adams certain to really get confidence, standing right against the fence there with his hands straight down. Fields is livid in the corner with his fighter. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think Chris is livid as such. I think he just wants him to pressure a bit more, as in throw the shots and move his head a little bit more. Then a minute he's he's throwing the shots, but they seem a bit willy-nilly. He's not putting enough into the way he's moving. A lot more blood coming from that nose here from Andy Mooney. Starting to pick some combinations together now as the, this, uh, this round progresses. That really head move though is nice. Run. Oh, oh, big knee there at the end of the round. Yeah, I mean, Chris just said that he's looking for a way out there. Oh, he may need a way out. And do you know what? Jay Adams at the end of that round did look like he didn't want to be there towards that, that last 10 seconds. Uh, and whether it was through the flurry, I'm not sure. Whether it was through the shot towards the end, it was it an excuse? I don't know. But he's on his hands on knees at the minute. He's not giving you know, the most responsive look that he'd want from someone that's potentially won the first two rounds here. No. 10 more seconds, and who knows uh, what we could be looking at now. This, this could be a really torrid round now for Jay Adams, yep. you know, after doing so well for the first two. And let's be very straight about this, Harry. The first two rounds, the effective striking came from one end, and it was Jay Adams, he was landing the shots. You know, Andy Mooney was moving forward well, he was putting the pressure on, but he was missing most shots they were throwing and getting caught and tagged on the way through. Yeah, to remove all doubt now, it does seem like Mooney should go for the finish. He's looking the much... Uh, 
the much calmer and the much more re re like fresher man of the two here as we go into the final. Yeah, round. I mean, I, he shows what you know. Chris Fields has been talking through this fight and saying his arms are going, his arms are gassing. He's just been shaking his arms out there. Just, you know, maybe Chris is absolutely spot on with this. He's feeling that that pressure now and that that gas tank of Jay Adams maybe depleting. Adam still enjoying sticking in the pocket here, though, and keeping the fight in very close quarters. But gum shield fell out. And here we go again. Again, this is where, you know, we may see Andy Mooney come through here. Mooney in the red, in the red. He's getting tagged, though. Adams in the blue. A very, very fast-paced third round here. Big, big knees to the stomach. Yeah, oh, we, we felt that one. You see, Adams it. felt that one to the right to the left hand side of the body. It's Will in now, the pressure is on. Jay Adams was Mooney. backing off intelligently before, but now he's not backing off intelligently, he's backing off just to back off to get out of this fight and get away from the shots. And at the minute, this is a bad position to be in with Mooney really sort of putting the pressure on, and them knees are through the middle are really going to cause damage. Mooney punches in bunches. Response from Adams not doing too much. Big shots here against defence in his own corner. Mooney with all the time in the world to sink these shots in. Driving his knees into the stomach of Adams. Adams looking very tired with a spinning back fist there. Yeah, but Mooney's not looking tired at all. He's looking like he's still closing down. Very he's still fresh. putting the pressure on. He's working that body beautifully, Harry. Beautifully. Big, big knees time and time again. Like, practice here. The only thing is, them knees, a lot of it on their arms. Don't get me wrong, tomorrow, Andy, uh, Jay Adams' arms will be in bits, but he is blocking a lot of the shots with them forearms. Yeah, oh, he just took a big sigh there, big, big yeah. breath in. Oh, big, big these knees shots again, are big. still being, being defended, but a lot of offence coming from Andy Mooney here. Yeah, that, that shot round the side there to the body. A big, big round. For Andy Mooney, these shots are pouring on. The referee's on the verge here of stepping in. Yeah, he's looking at it, he's looking at it, he's working. Big counter hands here, big flurry there. I was going to say, I don't think he's stepping there. I think the, the big left hand, big right hand combination. Oh, oh he's in. Andy Mooney's lights are nearly out. Oh, he's definitely nearly out there. Wow. Big, big shoot there. Hey, watch Mary that shoot from Andy Mooney. He's going to watch for that dance now. The lights were wobbling off, on and off there for a second. For Jay Adams with a big recovery here. Yeah, I mean, that what a great round there for Mooney, but <laughs> Jay Adams, recovery-wise, was absolutely phenomenal. And, and for me, them first two rounds were fully him. So if this goes to the buzzer... Final 10 it. seconds here. Jay Adams corner of Primal MMA absolutely screaming the faces off here for a big finish. Big left and right, punches in punches. What a fight! Okay. What a fight there, the first fight to go the distance and an absolute barnstormer between that. Andy Mooney and Jay Adams. I, I'm, I, like I say, I'm really interested there to see how the, the judges are going to go for that second round because that was, you know, the first round was for me fully, fully uh, Jay Adams. But knowing how the, the judges work with that, with a little bit of grappling between yeah. Are they going to go to Mooney? I don't know. But that third round was 100% Mooney. It's all about that second round, Harry. All is. It all comes down to the judges now. Big, big decision they have in their hands here as the, the scorecards get calculated. And we throw it into the ring now to save Khan RMC to make this fight and this uh, official decision. But what a great fight that was. Unbelievable fight of the night so far, Jay. 100%, mate. 100%.